Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction and today we are going to be watching part four of season one for Young Sheldon. And I gotta say, this show has been just a wonderful show to watch. Like it's, it's hilarious. It's got some really heartwarming moments. It's got a lot of dramatic moments. Like this is really good. Like I feel like this is a very good follow-up transition from the Big Bang Theory and I feel like even if it wasn't from the Big Bang Theory, I feel like it would still catch on. You know what I mean? It has one of those vibes to it. Right now, as it stands, I have three favorite characters. I have Mima, I have George, and I have Missy. Um, some of you might ask why Sheldon's not my favorite character. It's just because we already know basically everything about him, if that makes sense. Like, we learned so much about him in The Big Bang Theory, and I feel like young Sheldon is a good opportunity to learn about every other character that surrounds him and where he grew up and how he grew up and all that stuff like that. And just, you know, the, the typical side characters get a good moment once in a while, but this show, it seems like they get them a lot. So, hope you guys enjoy this reaction. If you'd like to watch my full length reaction to Young Sheldon on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's continue Young Sheldon. First off, I wanna thank you both for coming. Yeah, yeah, what'd he do? Uh, he didn't do anything. Oh. Gosh, Tom, I want to believe you. Okay, the problem is the curriculum here is not challenging enough for Sheldon. And so the square of sine plus cosine equals one. Sheldon. I don't want to embarrass you, so I'm going to give you a moment to think about what you just said. Oh, my God. Ms. McElroy? What? I'm wondering if you read the book you assigned to us, because I did. Cooper? If you're going to ask us to run, don't you think you should lead by example? He's actually got a good point there. He's, so he's technically he's not rude run. to his teachers? That's unacceptable. I'll, I'll give him a talking to. I recently had a nice chat with the head of Wilmot Academy for Gifted Children. Now, I told her all about Sheldon, and she seemed to think he would be a perfect fit over there. We already looked into private school. We can't afford it. Not unless you're giving me a raise. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Good try, though, George. But I can tell you this. Hold on. This place is in Dallas. That's three hours away. Well, yeah, but uh, what they do in cases like yours, they look for a local family for him to live with in George. Dallas? Dallas is certainly close enough that he can come home on the weekend. Oh, well. Look, we appreciate you going to bat for him, but he's just a wee little thing. What's there to talk about, George? This could be a great a opportunity for Sheldon. It could he's be, yeah. He's nine years old. Oh, come on. You can't measure him in Earth years. You're saying he's an alien? <laughs> well. Well, in George's defense, that idea has been tossed around a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe you all are the aliens. What about... <laughs> Maybe. I love my job. <laughs> I know where Dallas is. I used to buy my marijuana there. Really? I said used to. Then I got pregnant with this one and all the fun stopped. <laughs> all I am saying is that this would be a great opportunity for Sheldon. I think it I would know, be. You're right. Whoa, she's right. I said the same thing in Peterson's office. You looked at me like I was an idiot. You should be thinking about the whole world. I mean, what if Einstein's parents had held him back? We wouldn't even have the... Well, I was gonna say atomic bomb, but there's probably a better example. Here's a crazy idea. <laughs> How about we ask Sheldon what he thinks of all this? Go ahead. He's not gonna want to go. Have a seat. I want to talk to you. All right. So today, we found out about a school in Dallas for really smart kids. When can I start? <laughs> oh my oh, God. Yeah. That was, a, that was a flip. Away, so you'd have to live with another family. Do they have a dog? Wouldn't you miss your mom and dad? Oh. Yes, I suppose I will. So when are you calling about the dog? <laughs> you know him so well. wrong with them what are you talking about sheldon i've been looking over your transcripts and i must say i'm very impressed thank you what's your doctorate in non-commutative algebraic topology i like her 
It's gonna be weird around here without Sheldon. Don't you mean less weird? As soon as I graduate high school, I'm gonna be a professional male model. Okay. That is hilarious. What? <laughs> I'm good looking. No, that you think you'll graduate high school. <laughs> the model thing was funny too. I must hey, listen, you, he becomes successful, so... I have never seen such glowing letters of recommendation from a student's teachers. Sheldon is a delight to have in the class. He's fun-loving, easy to get along with, and always ready to help another student. Yeah, that no. That doesn't sound like me at all. Sure it does, sweetie. Nope, the teachers were trying to get him out. <laughs> That's the whole point of it. Flora, I have to ask about the living arrangements. That's our main concern. So we have a guest room available in our home. Well, that's very generous of you. Does your husband work at the school also? No, he's retired. He was an astrophysicist for NASA. Please tell me you don't have a dog. No, we're both allergic. I'm tingling. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Already. Wow. I know. I look great. Got your little going away gift. Come on in. This necklace has been in our family for generations. And he's going to lose it. Belonged to a Comanche warrior who gave it to your great, 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 great grandma. I don't like birds. Birds are filthy. Okay. Fine. Oh my God. She One just ripped it off. Featherless family heirloom for you to take with you and keep you safe while you're away. You don't actually believe this has magic powers, do you? Oh, for God's sake, just say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, Mary, he's going to come home every Friday night. I didn't think I'd have to deal with this till he went to college. You should thank your lucky stars he's not in college now. <laughs> I'm still not sure that this is the right thing to do. Are you worried that he won't like it or are you worried that he will? I'm sorry you are stuck with me. <laughs> as you can see, even as a small child, people cherished having me around and wept over my absence. And no one took my impending departure harder than my best friend, Tam. So you leave tomorrow. It was touching to watch Tam bravely fight back tears. I don't think he cares. <laughs> Have you ever thought about making the trains go clockwise? No. You should. Brave, brave, Tam. Are you gonna miss me? I haven't given it any thought. Well, <laughs> this I guess we're just here. Think about it. I am used to you. I'm used to you too. To me, you're like string beans. No one asks for them. No one wonders about them. They're just there on the plate. Wow. But you eat them, right? Yes. You're gonna miss me. <laughs> Hey, she was pretty smart with that logic there, actually. All right, let's say grace. Guess I get to hold hands with you now. Did you just wipe your nose yes, on so. your arm? Like, oh and my Sheldon's god. Sheldon's mittens weren't such a bad idea. Thank you, God, for this food we are about to receive and for the nourishment of our bodies and bless the hands that prepared it. And God, we ask that you watch over our Sheldon. Why are you crying? Why are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> so how'd it go in Dallas today? Went fine. Nice people. Children seem very comfortable with the whole thing. Welcome. How was the drive? Elliot, this is Sheldon. Well, it's nice to meet you, young man. I've heard a lot about you. George, that is not at all how they were. What are you talking about? There was definitely something off about those people. Really? Was there? what I miss? Yeah, a little traffic coming in the city, but otherwise okay. It Sheldon. would be Mary that thinks that. I want you to meet my husband, Elliot. Wow. Elliot, this is Sheldon. Nice to meet you, young man. You're making it out like they were some kind of monsters. Sheldon has his own room, his books everywhere. Even has a big old backyard he won't play in. He Are won't play in. What? The underground laboratory? I think it's called a finished basement, honey. I know what I saw. I feel like I'm not allowed to talk either right now. This is very stressful. <laughs> this is tense. Yeah. Me and the kids had a nice day. Watched a lot of football. You know the dolphin's helmet has a dolphin on it? And that dolphin is also wearing a helmet. Excuse me. Aren't we going to say grace? Uh, we don't do that in our house. Oh. But you're welcome to do so. That's all right. I don't believe in God. 
Well, then why would you say grace? Because it makes my mom happy. Right. And why are you wearing mittens? Well, I don't know where your hands have been. Maybe we should just eat. <laughs> oh, no. They're going to kick him out. <laughs> oh, God. Do you like not the beans? green, not the string beans. No. But I eat them. Oh, my God. I can't hear you, so I'm going to hang up now. Good night. I'm telling you, this is a terrible idea. This is a terrible, terrible idea. He's going to be fine. You'll see. I can't believe you're okay with this. I'm not okay with this. I'm just trying to be strong for you. Where are you off? He's going to go get Sheldon. get Sheldon. Really? Yeah, really. What about this being a great opportunity for him? Y'all want me to go or not? Yes, yes and hurry go. up. <laughs> Move on, Tubby. Oh, my God. To get Sheldon. Do I get a vote in this? No. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the bed in my room had a dust ruffle, which to my young mind only meant one thing. There was dust. But eventually no, I did drift No, off, really? Haunted by the memory, the three of us gathered around the piano, singing hippie folk music. You'll not see nothing. Shame on whoever wrote that. Dad. Yeah? I'm glad you came to get me. I had a feeling it wouldn't last just because. No! <laughs> no hugging! No hugging! <laughs> I mean, why not bother becoming a teacher? Jesus! You know, I'm gonna say before I say it. Oh, I say it and look like a dumbbell. Ms. Ingram, can I offer a suggestion? What? Never mind, you do it your way. No, no, you tell me. Of course he's right. <laughs> he's always right. <laughs> tell you what I do. I send him on little errands, like the other day. I told him, go to the supply room and get me a frame of stamp. <laughs> What's a frame of stamp? No such thing, I made it up. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? You said he was going away, liar. It's 11 o'clock in the morning, guys. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, you Dungeons and Dragons, huh? And come to a wooden chest. Lord Grey Matter, what do you do? I poke it with my dagger to Lord see if there Grey are Matter. traps. Lord Grey Matter, really? There are no traps. Hey, guys, I brought snacks. Thanks, Mom. Oh, God. Is playing and shoots and ladders? Tam is teaching us Dungeons and Dragons. Oh. We're on a quest to find the pitchfork of a devil named Balsable. Oh, fire me. Yeah, so he's just hanging right out there, isn't he? Okay, <laughs> well. She's not okay with it. You kids oh. have fun. Oh, okay. My mother didn't believe in elves, fairies, or dragons. George? But she did believe in the devil. And uh -oh. she did not view him as an appropriate playmate for her son. I'm worried. There are incantations in this book to summon actual demons. Is that how we wound up with you? I don't think those are real. Wow. I'll give you that. <laughs> this is not a joke. This is one of the children's games we were warned about in church. Then tell him to stop playing. It's not that easy. He's finally got a couple of friends. When I was a kid, we were listening to Black Sabbath, all that devil music. Didn't hurt me. Satan didn't get my soul. What happened to it? You trade it for some donuts. <laughs> Why is it always fat jokes? <laughs> um, I was just concerned about a game that the boys were playing and was wondering if you and your wife knew about it. A game? Yes, a very disturbing one. Well, what are we talking about? You catch those boys playing grab ass? No. Whoa, that took a Dungeons turn. Dungeons and Dragons. So everybody's got the trousers up. Yes. What's the problem? You doing something new with your hair? It looks, uh... Real pretty. Boy, she's married. No, but thank you. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave you to it. it smells good, too. Right, she's bye married. Bye. You can stop. Chicken for dinner? I'll slaughter a big one for you right now. I'm good. Now, which one of you's tired of this life? <laughs> you. That's so mean. <laughs> Don't 
Dungeons and Dragons? Yes, and it's filled with demons and satanic images. Em làm ơn nói chuyện với bà mới trắng hỏi anh. Anh bận lắm. To the white woman. Anh nói chuyện với cô ấy, anh đang có khách hàng. Đi mà anh đừng có hỏi em nhiều đâu. Anh cho ít quá. Wow. So what is the problem with this game? A game boys play with make believe demons? Not a problem. <laughs> well, you know what? He's got a point actually. I'm sorry. I agree with you. I will talk to Tam. Oh good. Thank you. And everything's going great. Cause I have the coolest boss. I'm sorry, but I'm kinda having a hard time feeling the Holy Spirit calling you Jeff. I'm I'm gonna stick with Pastor. Sure. I'm sorry to drag you into this, but it is demons, so it's in your purview. It is indeed. In fact, at a recent Young Baptist Leaders Conference, I attended a seminar on satanic leisure activities. And? And the important lesson is rather than have a parent or authority figure take the offending game away, let God remove it. Sheldon needs to start attending Sunday school. If he likes books with demons and devils, I've got one that will blow his mind. What book is that? The Bible. The Bible, George. Ha, sure, yeah. I think that's a wonderful idea, although I am concerned that we may get a little pushback from Sheldon. Sheldon, I understand you hope to be a scientist someday. Yes, sir. Well, let me ask you a question. You say you don't believe in God, but what kind of scientist comes to a conclusion without first doing the research? A bad scientist. He's got to be a checkmate there with so that one. I'll see one. you Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. She's gonna go remove it. Girl, don't you touch his stuff. Why you asleep? I'm studying for Sunday school. Oh. You're reading the Bible? That's wonderful. I do have a question. Sure, what? And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Oh God, it's giving me flashbacks of Sunday school. And the power and the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Very good. <laughs> You're welcome, Pastor Jeff. Word, they're translating the Greek expression logos, and logos means knowledge. Sounds like someone has a noggin full of logos. Yes, Billy. They live on my block. Terrific. <laughs> I'm done. You finished it? All of it. Ask me which birds are kosher. How about which birds are kosher? Chickens, yes. Quail, yes. Owls, surprisingly, no. And I've decided to explore other religions, oh, too. Here we go. Here What's we go! Name? Pastor Jeff encouraged me to approach religion scientifically, so it so only So he's going to do all the research on everyone. No, oh, no. Your database is Baptist. That's all the data you need. Baptist data. Buddhist, Jewish, Hindu, Catholic, all of them. Nope. Nope, that's not happening. Why? As an American, don't I have freedom of religion? There you go. Um, those Dungeons and Dragons are looking pretty good right now, aren't they? <laughs> I'm also looking into voodoo. Oh, God. But you do eat him and drink his blood. Right. Oh, there's also a ghost, but not the scary kind. Like Casper? Exactly. No, the, the Holy Spirit. And how does the Pope work? Well, well, he doesn't. The Pope lives in Italy. Oh, no, he does. He has a special car and a big My, my mind hat. is all over the place right now. It's a wonderful hat. Your religion is making me feel bad. That's how you know it's working. That's a lot of religions, except for a couple. Miss Hutchins, what's your religion? I'm a Mormon. Why? I'm conducting oh. a research project. Can you tell me about being a Mormon? I've never met a Mormon well, before. Well, it started in New York when a man found gold plates buried underground. The plate said that when we die, we get to go to our own planet. Lonely Sherlock. Planet cat. My god, lady, we need to get you something. I like her. She's funny. No, that's not funny. That's depressing. <laughs> You're gonna love Ira. He's a great guy. Is he your boyfriend? Well, he's one of them, so let's not bring that up. Oh. <laughs> so Mimo tells me you're Jewish. Right to it, huh? All right. Let's do this. Please sit up. You hungry? You want a nush? I don't know. I've never eaten a nosh. No, a uh, nosh is not a thing. It's a... Uh, never mind. Um, would you care for some hard candy? Are they kosher? Who are you, my mother? <laughs> All right, so what can I do for you? What's it like to be Jewish? Oh, it's terrible. I don't recommend it. Why? Okay. Well, for starters, your life is hemmed in by ancient, pointless rules. 
It's a lot of yelling. And uh, you're probably not going to get into a good country club. What about so God? Then why... What about him? Does he play a part in your life? Well, historically, he's gotten a kick out of punishing us. I got a question for you, Sheldon. When you grow up, are you planning on living in Texas? Probably. Then I strongly advise you to stay Baptist. Maybe even wear a cross. <laughs> Why did you move to Texas? Well, that's simple. Medford had no Jews, so there was an opening for one. How's it going? Good. Did you know that Zoroaster believed in two gods? No, I did not. And the Taoists don't believe in God at all. They believe in a principle of harmony. How very nice for them. Shelley, I understand you enjoy researching things. Love it. Would you be angry with me if I don't pick your religion? I could never be angry with you. Well, you could. You be a seeker of your own truth. Thanks, Mom. And if the truth turns out to be Satan, I will do battle with him. <laughs> she is perfectly casted for this role. She really is. Welcome, Sheldon. We've ten. been waiting for you. Are you the Ten Commandments? No, we are one. And zero. We are the binary code that underlies the universe. Positive and negative. Male and female. Light and dark. But why is there evil and suffering? Well, without evil and suffering, there is no good and happiness. Oh, sure, binary. Shall we give him the final piece of information that unlocks the secret of the universe? Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> Before the universe began. Hey, dummy. You're drooling all over your books. Huh? No. Okay, what God means to me. Who'd like to go first? Billy. I'd like to go third. All righty. Who's feeling brave? Billy's, Billy's special Missy. in his own way. I'll go second. Great. I've spent the last week studying what people believe, and I've come to a conclusion. And what's that? I'm starting my own religion. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm there calling it, is. it mathology. It's oh, God! It's universal binary system. <laughs> That's terrific, Sheldon, but this is a Baptist Sunday school. I know. I'm here to convert everybody. Wow. Okay, let's go have a talk with your mom. <laughs> there goes Billy. Welcome to the Church of Mathology. Today I'd like to talk about prime They're numbers letting and why him they bring this? Joy. Hallelujah! <laughs> God, Radio Shack again. Power has always been a deadly narcotic. With an Intel 8086 running at 8 megahertz and a five and a quarter inch floppy drive, there was nothing I couldn't do. From adding <laughs> snazzy graphics to my homework. So snazzy. Sheldon, time to go. We really need to get one of these. What on earth do we need a computer for? Yeah, we got you and your big head, but we can get so much accomplished. Plus the computer can organize your recipes. But my recipes are organized. On index cards. Like a cave person. Hey, Mom, <laughs> I'm gonna call you that. <sighs> Doesn't matter, Sheldon. We can't afford a computer. Sure, we can. It's only $998. That's Dave pretty says expensive. We can buy it on easy monthly payments. That's true. Stay out of this, Dave. I can make you a good deal on the floor model, Mrs. Cooper. Seriously, Dave? You're getting on my nerves. <laughs> it's not fair. You bought Missy a ring pop. For 10 cents. And I'm worth every penny. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. We're living paycheck to paycheck. Move? Here it is. A Teddy 1000 SL computer system. Sheldon was going on and on about that thing today. I've never seen one so easy to use. Greetings. Any directions <laughs> back to your planet? This technology is more advanced than we thought. You know that movie, E.T.? The kid who finds him, his name is Elliot, which starts with an E and ends with a T. Coincidence? I don't think so. Nope. You're going to live with us forever, aren't you? <laughs> so Sheldon wants a computer. They're my family. There are expenses we could cut back on so we could afford a computer. You mean like the money you give the church? No, I mean like yeah, what the are you money giving you the give money to, to the church Lone Star for? Beer Company. <laughs> Good one, Mom. Shut, Shut up. up. We're not getting a computer. We don't need your money. Mom? Why are you still up? 
And I've been curious on the roof, and she's not wearing her hat. You're just dreaming, baby. Oh, okay. But she'll be cold without her hat. I'll give her mine. <laughs> now you go to sleep. I'll give her mine. That's Thanks, great. Mom. <laughs> I'm guessing we're not having our once a week. Sorry, I only have relations with gentlemen I like. Oh, come on. Once a week? Just how much of this here and there money you got saved up? Well, seeing as it's my money, I don't think that's any of your business. None of my business? <laughs> you see every nickel I'm making, you got secret money? It's not secret, I just told you. Where are you hiding it? My money's our money, but your money's your money. That's right. Oh, good wow. to know. Not good. I'm glad we're not having our once a week, because I am not in the mood. <laughs> really? That's too bad. Why? Are you? No. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, a girl called for you. What girl? I don't know, a girl. Well, what'd she say? It's hard to remember. This was months ago. Hey. That girl's probably Jim mad at him now. You've got to be kidding me. Don't worry. I didn't use your money. Use mine. <laughs> Will I need earmuffs? Sure, if you want. Although my almanac does predict mild temperatures. Then don't bring it. I'll just bring my almanac. You know what? I'll bring both. Should I pack my toothbrush or use the one I keep at Mimo's? Come on in. Mom and Dad need a break. <laughs> she looks like she looks over it. What's he got in there? Everything. Women are nothing but trouble. I get it. Speaking of. Hello, George is speaking. Did you answer the phone? Do you feel stupid? I'm just saying I'm better suited to the single life. How you picture that? Okay. Well, you know the buffet at Golden Corral where there's all kinds of choices and you can have as much as you want? Yes. Yeah. It'll be like that, only with hot girls. Georgie, I'll bet you $1,000 <laughs> you're married before you're 25. You got a bet. Georgie married his first wife at 19. Why are we he saying this? He never paid this? my father. Why are we well, saying I this, though? I tell you how happy I am that y'all are spending the night with me. Your house smells like cigarettes. So happy. Are you and Dad going to get a divorce? Of course not. Are you sure? Packing up your kids in the middle of the night and moving in with your mom has all the earmarks of a divorce. We're not getting He's got a course. good point, actually. Okay, go to sleep. Sweet dreams. I don't want to get in your business, but since you're getting in my bed, I'm getting in your business. Go ahead. When you're leaving. Very <laughs> funny. That wasn't a joke. I love you and I love the kids, but I love you better living across the street. Sorry the end of my marriage. My God, they live across the street. You. Oh, don't be so dramatic. It's a little spat. No. You gonna buy Sheldon that computer? Well, now I have to. Got it. <laughs> she just wanted the conversation to end. <laughs> What's for breakfast? I don't know. Red ball cereal. Mom usually makes us eggs and toast and the occasional meat. Well, Mom isn't here, is she? Whoa. Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Somebody looks like they and didn't sleep at all. you had a choice because you had the whole bed. Georgie, walking on thin ice. Why not? Because if I do, it sets a bad precedent. What's Nixon got to do with it? No, what? Pre oh you said my bad God. president. Like not Nixon. The, not the same you know, thing. This guy. <laughs> He's going to go, go apologize just to get her. <laughs> Dad! No. Mom wanted to buy it for you. Dad said they couldn't afford it. Mimo offered to pay for it. Now I'm eating pineapple spears for lunch. I hate making my own lunch. I'm sorry, Georgie. I didn't know. Yeah, well, now you do. Oh, Sugar Apple, I love you so much. Your affection for inanimate objects frightens me. I'm glad <laughs> you're happy, Missy. I'm even happier that I got a toy and Sheldon got nothing. Well, now we're not exactly done shopping, Sheldon. Wait, he gets a computer and I get a lousy toy? I <laughs> thought you liked it. Not anymore. Where'd the water come out of? 
Well, seeing as that's a dryer, nowhere. Literally, what is going on here, Georgie? The home computer I had long coveted was finally in my possession. But it was also oh boy. destroying my home. Thankfully, it came preloaded with a program to help solve personal problems. Hello, I am Eliza. <laughs> my? I see. Can you elaborate on that? My mother got me this computer do you have issues with your mother what the hell mm, is this actually no. a thing because that's cool she it's like siri from back then spaghetti <laughs> with hot dogs are you going to help me or not hello i am eliza the future wow. may be overrated yeah. Go across the street and apologize to mom. <laughs> I got nothing to apologize for. You don't have to mean it. I never do. Georgie, just mind your business. Okay, sorry. In case you're wondering, I didn't mean that. See how easy it is? <laughs> Sheldon is using the computer right now to try and fix your marriage. Really? <laughs> what did it say? Literally. It said... Get out of your mother's house. Um, I'm serious. I want a cigarette and I'm tired of hiding behind the garage. You think I should apologize to George? Well, of course not. That would set a terrible precedent. Well, that's not bad. That's Do manipulative it. is what it is. I will. Why are you drinking tea? Get out. <laughs> she just wants her house back. She don't even care. <laughs> Were you coming back? Just to get some clothes for the kids. Oh. Were you coming to talk to me? Well, yeah. I'm gonna go for a walk, talk a little. Sure. Hey, kids, come here. <laughs> Look at that. It looks like your mom and dad are going to be all right. And this program will allow us to track our family finances, create a budget, and prepare tax documents. That's impressive. Would you like to know how much money you spend on beer annually? No, I would. If you switch to Hawaiian Punch, we can live in a bigger house. <laughs> Hello, I am Eliza. <laughs> Eliza. Oh, God, Georgie. Oh. Uh... You hot in your fantasies, am I hot? Oh, my God! Hey, get out of here! I'm about to score. Let the poor boy go. I gotta finish my homework. Big money, big money. <laughs> yes, hello. What are you doing? Oh, my God, she thinks it's a, a radio. Hello? <laughs> he didn't know how to pull the knob to turn it on. I thought that's what he was doing the whole time. Button you pull, that's stupid. All right, so those part four of season one for young Sheldon, and I gotta say, those three episodes, they were all right. They weren't the best, but they were also pretty good with the more dramatic, you know, moments and stuff like that, and less about the comedy aspect, which is something to kind of get used to with this show compared to how Big Bang Theory was. But it was still enjoyable nonetheless. All right, if you got... Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you'd like to watch my full-length reaction, like I said at the beginning of this video, go ahead and check for the link down in the description, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.